The harmony in existence is a phenomenon observed across various domains. From the celestial movements of planets to the delicate interactions within an ecosystem's food web, the essence of harmony is woven into every facet of nature. Let's embark on a journey of unveiling the fundamental truth that binds all living beings together, causing the splendor and complexity of our natural world. Harmony refers to a pleasing combination or arrangement of elements that creates a sense of completeness, unity and coherence. It involves the balanced interaction of different parts or components to produce a unified whole. Whether it be the balanced arrangement of colors in art, the coherence of themes in literature, or the interconnectedness and equilibrium observed in natural systems, harmony manifests diversely across contexts. To get what I mean, think of art for a moment. In art, harmony refers to the pleasing arrangement of elements such as color, form, texture and composition. It creates visual coherence and unity, evoking emotional responses and aesthetic pleasure in viewers. Artists use principles of harmony to convey messages, express emotions and communicate ideas effectively. Whether through balanced compositions or harmonious color schemes, harmony plays a pivotal role in the creation and appreciation of art. Hence, we can never attribute art to randomness, rather it's inherently linked to an artist or designer. Now, if you take a moment to observe the universe, from the tiniest particle to the biggest celestial bodies and even to the universe itself, you'll notice a magnificent harmony which caused a perfect order that governs the entire existence. Let's briefly explore some examples of the existing harmony in nature. Certain aspects of nature appear finely tuned to achieve specific outcomes. For instance, the physical constants and laws governing the universe seem precisely calibrated to allow for the existence of life. The fine-tuning of these parameters, such as the gravitational constant or the strength of electromagnetic force, suggests a level of design or intentionality rather than arbitrary randomness. For a better understanding, let's consider an example. The strength of gravity shortly after the Big Bang is estimated to be approximately one undecillion times as stronger than its current value. And the expansion rate of the universe in that moment is estimated to be approximately one quintillion times as stronger than its current value. If the rate of expansion of the universe had varied by even one part in a quintillion, the outcome would have been drastically different, potentially leading to either continued rapid expansion or collapse without any formation of structure. To illustrate the insignificance of one in a quintillion, consider all the grains of sand on Earth's speeches, which likely amount to roughly a quintillion. In this comparison, if all those sands represent the rate of expansion of the universe right after the Big Bang, how many grains of sand do we need to add or subtract to wreck the universe? Just one grain. One in a quintillion. Now, if we extend the analogy to the strength of gravity, we would need approximately 751 million Earth's oceans filled with one undecillion grains of sand. Here is the critical point. If you were to remove just one grain of sand from any ocean of any of those 751 million Earths, existence as we know it would cease no structure would form. It's not only the expansion rate of the universe or the strength of gravity. There are numerous other factors intricately arranged that have contributed to the emergence of this impeccably structured universe. The intricately precise harmony observed here cannot be attributed to chance. Rather, it reflects the intentional arrangement by a wise designer who has carefully orchestrated every aspect. الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت 
فارجع البصر هل ترى من فطور ثم ارجع البصر كرتين ينقلب اليك البصر خاسئا وهو حسير Randomness typically implies disorder or lack of pattern. However, in nature, we often observe structured interactions among organisms and their environments. For example, in ecosystems, species often exhibit specialized roles and dependencies forming intricate webs of interaction. This structured organization suggests a level of order and purpose that goes beyond randomness. Take for instance the growth of a plant, which relies on factors like sunlight, soil minerals, rain, gravity, moonlight, and numerous other elements working in tandem. If everything remains constant except for a slight alteration in gravity, the entire system would collapse. Similarly, the absence of sunlight or water would disrupt the process. Now, if we think deeper, everything in the cycle of nature is interconnected and dependent to the whole cycle. And this makes a very complex system which is indeed perfectly harmonized. Many natural phenomena exhibit recurring patterns and cycles, such as the seasons, tides, and migration patterns. These patterns suggest underlying mechanisms or processes that operate with consistency and predictability rather than random fluctuations. For instance, the migration of birds follows a specific routes and timing, indicating a predetermined behavior rather than random chance. Mutualistic relationships where different species depend on each other for survival demonstrate a high degree of coordination and cooperation. For example, the symbiotic relationship between plants and pollinators involves precise adaptations and behaviors that benefits both parties. Such mutualistic interactions imply a level of coordination and purpose that transcends random chance. Complexity and order observed in nature often exceeds what would be expected from random processes alone. From the intricate structures of biological organisms to the elegant mathematical relationships governing physical phenomena, nature exhibits a level of organization that suggests underlying principles or design. Let's consider a construction project where there's a team of architects, engineers, and construction workers collaborating to build a new residential complex. For them to execute the work successfully, there's a need of planning, coordination, and a project manager who plays a crucial role in ensuring alignment and cohesion among team members. Otherwise, there will be a big chaos, which means the harmony in a construction project cannot occur by chance. Now, in nature, since the matter and objects are inert, they lack the ability to coordinate with each other to establish harmony in a system. Therefore, there is a need for a designer or a coordinator to design a system and allocate the roles of each individual object to function in an organized manner. Animals also need someone to design a system for them to work and live in harmony since they themselves don't have the intelligence to such perfect harmony. In a slum, adhering to the rules and commands that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has laid out for us is known as ibadah or worship. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to pray or fast, following these orders is a form of worship. Now, every single thing, whether it's an atom, a star, animal or tree, follows the commands of Almighty Creator. In simpler terms, everything in nature worships to the creator of the entire existence. Subhanahu wa ta'ala amma yaquluna uluwan kabira
تسبح له السماوات السبع والأرض ومن فيهن وإن من شيء إلا يسبح بحمده ولكن لا تفقهون تسبيحهم إنه كان حليما غفورا This verse indicates that everything adheres to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, implying that they derive their guidance from Allah for every action they take. In other words, they follow the instructions of the designer of the universe, and through adhering to these directives, they achieve harmony. This eludicates how everything exists in harmony with no occurrence taking place without the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To clarify further, let's examine another example. This is a honeycomb that's made by bees, a beautiful structure made of perfect hexagons. For this to be constructed, bees do not start building from a single point. Instead, they work independently, starting construction at different locations within the hive. And at the end, they meet at the center without any flaw and defect in the structure meaning that at the center we have again a perfect hexagon, although they have started from different points. Achieving such precision without planning, coordination or modern tools like total station or compass is beyond human capability. Then how can a creature without intellect manage to do it? Well, coincidence has no explanation for this. Even if we argue that bees have instinct to build the harmony in their construction process remains unexplained. They aren't aware of each other's actions, nor do they have a predetermined plan dictating where to begin. It seems as though there is a guiding force orchestrating their actions, directing them to start construction from specific points and follow the specified paths till the end. Unsurprisingly, the glorious Qur'an clearly points out the fact that every move the bees make is an inspiration from Almighty Creator, where it says, The presence of harmony in nature implies a rejection of randomness, as it suggests order, coherence and purposefulness in the workings of natural world. The overall patterns and organization observed in ecosystems, physical laws and biological systems point towards a deeper level of order and design, and it only indicates the presence of a divine creator shaping the fabric of the existence.